I had an okay day at work. It wasn't too bad. It's about, I don't know, 8.30, I think. I'm getting a bit tired because my body still hasn't really adjusted to the time change because technically right now it would be about 9.30. <coughs> but it is what it is. I know tomorrow we have to get a proof roll done. And then, <clears throat> I guess we're filling up that area right there. That's what I'm going to guess. That's, I mean, usually why we get proof rolls is so we know if we can even start filling in that area again. This is my first time being on that pad after finishing it, so I, I just got to be careful from the pillars because I guess <clears throat> people have uh, ran over the pillars and smacked them and all that crap so but I do know I'm looking into getting a three ton Pittsburgh I'm not going to get the Daytona right now I don't feel like spending, <laughs> I don't know, I think right now it's like uh, 150 to 160 something like that, because there's deals right now at Harbor Freight for um, Jacks and other stuff for Black Friday, but I really wanted to, I wouldn't mind having a Daytona, but I really, especially with certain colors like that purple, that, that one's nice, but the Pittsburgh would work just fine for me. I, I don't need anything else. I, I really just want it because I don't really like trolley jacks all that much. Which are the two that I have. I don't really like them. They, they just, how can I put it, take a little bit more effort to actually pump up the car. And I also don't like the saddle, how small it is. Come on, Rocky, let's go. <clears throat> compared to jacks like the Pittsburgh and Daytona and similar ones. I mean, I've seen Husky ones. The Husky is pretty much comparable in the design as the Pittsburgh one is. <clears throat> and the biggest reason why I would even consider getting the Husky one, Husky three-ton jack, is because it, um, how can I put this? It, I'm closer to the store. I'm closer to, I believe it's Home Depot, than I am to Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight, I'm good like, I don't know, 20 minutes. Uh, Home Depot, I'm like five or so. I'm literally like two miles away. But... I don't know why he's acting stupid and wants to go this way. I don't understand it. But, uh, yeah. The reason why I want to get one of those is because I need a better jack that will actually be able to let me work on the car and lift it up. Like I, I mean, don't get me wrong. The trolley jacks can do the work, but... the bigger jacks will just do a lot better. More stable. I'm not saying I'm leaving it on the jack. I mean, I have jack stands for that, but still. I mean, I see tire shops all the time because I go and get used tires all the time and they always leave the car jacked up without jack stands and sometimes you even see them with the jack like <clears throat> sitting the car sitting on the jack for five ten minutes sometimes depending on how busy they are which is dumb but you know not much I can do about it I'm not gonna say nothing I don't really care but yeah that's what I want to get real soon because then I can save myself some money on 
you know, certain things like, for instance, brakes. And because the Grand Caravan that I got right now, it's <clears throat> it's a little bit different from what I understand doing the brakes on that. Instead of having bolts, there's these, uh, I mean, technically they're bolts, but I more call them screws. Because it's like a, how can I put it? It won't come out with a socket. It comes out with like a Torx wrench, pretty much. The two little pins that you have to pull out for the caliper to come out. But... It would just be a whole lot easier. I just need to get that tool also. Because I don't have that. Plus, I don't have a lot of space. But, it is what it is. No big deal. I know you can't really see much. Because this camera sucks in low light. I'm just trying to walk a little bit and go back inside and then get ready for bed. I'm tired. <clears throat> don't get me wrong. I don't work hard in the sense of, like, my body. Like, physical. It's more, like, mentally. Yeah, sometimes, like, right now I'm not beating my body up. But if I was on rock and all that, then it would be a bit different. But right now I'm actually on decent. I'm getting decent dirt, so I'm not, like, smacking around and all that. It's more mentally because... Using the GPS, now I see why he wants, he's like freaking out because somebody's over there driving a freaking remote control car and he didn't want to come. He just wants to watch them. That's stupid, but oh well. Uh, pretty much <clears throat> the GPS dozer, it's just uh, really, it, it can be taxing on the brain sometimes. Because I'm just learning it. You know what I mean? And. So it can be. That plus people not knowing. How to run around you. Like for instance people. The concrete people like to walk. In front of your machine. Without getting your eye contact. Or walk behind you. and So you got to keep your head on the swivel. And all that crap. But that's really with any heavy equipment. To be honest. But yeah, I'm going to get that jack, get ready for work tomorrow, enjoy my day, do it all over again until one day I can move to the places that I want to go, like Florida. <laughs>